So I was born in Melbourne, um, not long after I was born. Um, my parents moved down to Hamilton, West Victoria, which is about three and a half hours away. Football was um, just part of your daily life. Obviously my dad played for Collingwood in Sydney. When I was growing up, I was lucky enough, my brother Marcus got drafted to Brisbane, so my school holidays were filled with catching the plane up there and, and knocking around with all the other players up there. My approach to football was probably shaped the way I, um, I was growing up. You know, the, the, it was a long road to get drafted, um, and I was you know, playing four years in the VFL um, with a lot of ups and downs and getting told you weren't good enough, and um, I think that's, that's shaped the way I, I play. I think one of the lucky things with AFL football and the AFL lifestyle is being able to include your kids and um, your family in, in your football. It's great to be able to take the kids along to training and games and sharing all the experiences, the ups and downs. So um, when things aren't going well, the kids always have a big smile on their face. And I think um, sometimes we're just blessed to be able to have the kids in our, our life and sharing these sort of the memories. After having kids, you're definitely more focused um, and more rounded. Um, probably the experiences you go through. Football and family is really tied in together and um, it makes you appreciate the lifestyle you got and um, being able to share that with the kids and, and the family. The, the thing that kept me going was, um, you know, the, the goal of actually playing AFL it was, you know, it was a childhood dream and um, I had a lot of fun with all my friends who I played footy with um, and, you know, some of their moments were very special to me. I always felt um, part of the footy club and, um, and I always loved going to, to train and playing, um, but I've never really felt comfortable. You know, as an AFL player, you never sort of think you've made it. You always sort of live on the edge. Yeah, I think last year, um, why it was so special was, was it was very unique for our group and it was so unexpected. Um, we had a lot of ups and downs. We had a lot of injuries and, and form and no one probably expected us to achieve what we did. Coming to the final series, everyone thought we are probably going to go out, um, you know, the first week. So it was amazing and just from the first final on, the momentum sort of built and we probably didn't know where we are going to you know, go and what we were going to achieve, so it was amazing to actually win the, the grand final and the premiership. People consider me a hard nut. I mean, I take pride um, being able to put the, my body on the line for the, my teammates and, and the club, so I mean, it probably stems from the way I've sort of grown up and, and the way I um, play my football, so I take pride in that and um, hopefully I can carry that on.